Alright guys, welcome back to more Track Mania. We're in the track of the day for Monday. It's Night Slide by Goob. Let's see how we can do. I've seen uh, on the subreddit. This is a short one. I believe it's ice. Oh, it's very, very slippery. And it's not the nicest, and there is a massive cut in it. Um, like a massive... A massive shortcut, so don't expect us to get awful, but yeah, it's ice and it's a it's a big uh, sort of spiral down sort of thing. Mm. Let's just try and get a lap in without failing. So you kind of want to go tight there, but then you. Seems to be too tight for that corner. Okay. It's a right hander. That's difficult. Bit too close on that. I feel like this one's probably just going to be a lot of trial and error. Then the finish line's over there somewhere. I which we have no traction. Ice is always fun, yeah. That's not even good enough for a bronze. I'm not sure where it is. It's like here somewhere. You can flip over. That's probably way too fast. You can flip over and skip about half of the track. I'm not going to try and do that though. If I can help it. Uh, traction is an ass. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's quite bad. I mean, that's gold. <laughs> we shaved 25 seconds off. Um, now, there's a new website out, which I'm going to share in the chat because I know people like it. This will actually tell you the author medals, or roughly the author medals for each track. So the author medal for this one is around 26 seconds. So I'm going to, I think we could probably actually make up a second on this. I feel like it is going to be massive trial and error. That's too shallow. I imagine the, uh, the other camera might help you here as well. I'm going to stick with this one because this is what I know. Probably change for ghosts as well now. Now that we have gold. Spinning out of control. We definitely need to wet up that last corner. Uh, let's change opponents. Let's see how many of these opponents take the take the jump. It is useful, isn't it? It was literally what I was asking for about two days ago. Trying to come in so shallow on that corner. Like, start wide and I'm really tight. You don't get as much height on there, but then you're too shallow for that corner. I really just got lucky to get that gold. I just want to put that out there. Well, that's one way to do it. We somehow hit this at like the right speed, right angle to just go. Exactly where I needed to. I really can't even get 
the start down now. It's way too tight and not enough speed. I mean, if we don't improve at all, I don't think I care. I got gold. Gold's acceptable. I mean, yeah, that's exactly the line I wanted to take. Surprised we got gold on, like, our second attempt, though. No, you do it. You, you definitely have to let off in the switch over. Way too shallow. So you, you want to come in shallow because it's a faster wine. You need to find a way to eject back out wide, especially for these longer corners. Oh, jeez. See if this camera angle helps at all. <laughs> no, <laughs> not in the slightest. See, everyone else sort of aims roughly straight around here and then they start to turn. Maybe we can just get away with like not turning for this. And then hooking it back in. That was way too tight. I, I can't do that camera angle. I'd love to be able to, but... That sent me so wide. Something like that's what you're after. <laughs> nice little 360 in there. So I didn't actually let off the accelerator in that switch over, hoping to maintain some speed by cheesing the system a little, but I don't think it's doable. I think you have to ease off. Uh, I think that was a bit too late. We didn't hit that tree. Like, probably about half a second faster. I don't think it would have been awful still. I think you have to take that last bit as one sort of continual slide. Okay, too slow over there. We're going to try this for probably about half an hour max. So I can't be here all day on ice. I lose my absolute mind. Oh no, I left it too late. It was, uh, we're in front as well, then. Maybe I want to check out Fall Guys as well, so we'll be doing that. A bit later on. Ah. Ice is not my, not my forte. Way too shallow. Ah.
Okay. It's nice and tight through there. Some would say too tight. Because we didn't get the... Eject out of the corner. Essentially. Same there. You come in too tight, you just don't get fired out properly. Looking at the scores here, Samba's Ghost, according to that website, didn't even get author. So if we can't even keep up with him, we've got no chance. Such thing is too tight. Well... I feel like you probably have to do the cut to get the author medal here, which is a bit bullshit. So, let's just see what the best time we can do is after like 20 minutes or so. Going on to the snow killed any chance I had. I sort of get it. I think the main problem with ice is it's just so inconsistent. so hard to say, oh yeah, I just need to make this one minor adjustment. This will never get the same line again. At least that's how it feels. One corner. <laughs> I didn't even beat my BB. Uh, that's so annoying. That's close. A bump didn't help. PB's overtaking me. I wonder if um, they know there's big skips in them when they come for track of a day or not. I imagine someone's going through and actually picking all the maps. But knowing Ubisoft, probably not. Come to think of it. I need to learn what I actually should be doing for that section. My PB just like slid all the way through it. But I can't seem to maintain that line. Yeah, it's so slow. I had to stop accelerating to correct myself. I came in too tight. Same again, it just throws you out. I 
don't know how we were so slow at the start there. Yep. That's exactly how you meant to do that corner. Don't mind me. See that, yeah, every time I slide there and make it through the two corners, I miss the tree. I always hit the tree, sorry. I don't get the right exit. I always crash into that tree. Hey, it's faster. I need to shave about another second off. <laughs> Which I don't think is doable. TV took such a good line through there. What's the skip for this? Uh, you go through this first checkpoint. And then somewhere around here you do like a back flip. And then you land on the boosters underneath. So just keep in your head that you flip on there. And then I'll show you where you come out. So you come out just after this checkpoint. You come out here-ish. Here. And then you have to drive back up here. Hit that checkpoint. And then sort of slide through there. And then across the finish line from behind. But I, I don't really know where the jump is. It's it's like it's like there somewhere. I don't know. It definitely has to be after this first checkpoint. I always I'm always going too fast because of the reactor boost in you, so I wasn't fast enough to even make it over a wall. I don't know. We're not going to try and do it completely. I just want to show you how it's initiated, but I really have no idea where you actually start the thing. It's It's something like that. But you, you sort of do like a little backflip. I saw it on the on the subreddit, so but you can probably find it. Oh you just the reactors send you off into space, so I'm not sure. Anyway, let's just try and do it properly. All of a sudden, just spin out for <laughs> no purpose whatsoever. No reason. A nice little spin. Nice day for a spin. But yeah, we need to shave off roughly a second. From our last lap, which also shaved off a second, so... Like that we also can't keep up with, so don't think this one's doable for me. The author, I couldn't do was it the NASCAR one? 
Couldn't do the offer on that. I might go back and look at our time on that because with this website I can actually see where the offer would have been. Oh, close or far away we were to it. So I'll give this probably about five more minutes. We might pull something spectacular off. I highly doubt it, but you know. Never say never and all that. That was way too far over. That pillow was just cutting my line more and more as I drifted over. It's as if I hit something then, I just lost all speed. Went down to about 50 miles per hour, or whatever. We're in. Yep, that's exactly how you do it. Not a bad wine. It's faster. It is faster. Yeah. I sort of get it. Says. Open he gets it. Oh that was so close. Like <laughs> a tenth or two tenths off off of her. I think that's near enough as close as I can get to it without getting it. But we can have a lap like that and then have a million laps where we don't even make it. That's the first corner. Okay, it's way too slow. Need to at least keep pace with my PB. It's not gonna make it. around two more minutes. Ugh. I see what you're saying. Went to the first checkpoint and immediately turned left. How are you meant to execute that? <laughs> I 
I just hit everything. Yeah. It normally is. I imagine that sends should to what here. Couple more minutes. Ow. How does that even happen? Take it your slow right down to get into there. You basically have to pull a U turn. That's literally millimeters away. Yeah, that's it. You managed to, like, if you can manage to do it once, you feel like it's possible, but it was probably just like a, a fluke that you managed to do it in the first place, to be honest. Oh, I'm really slow on this one. Half a second down. We're so close yet so far. Although it's like you're ahead of a checkpoint. Oh, we're well, just still miles behind. They ended up going so wide. A couple more attempts. Way too shallow. <gasps> He's done it! By the smallest of margins. <laughs> there we go. We're not doing it anymore. We're leaving it there. 25958. There you go, guys. If you like this episode, do hit like button. Subscribe for all random things in all right places. And I'm sure I'll see you next time. Take care, folks.